Yeah, look, New Marion, it was a it was a bold first step effort for him. He's um yeah, he's he's a pretty uh, tenacious horse for the stable. He certainly you know got the form on the board, but uh, I suppose first up didn't expect him to take out the Holland Ale. It was a tough run. Uh, he was you know wide on what was a it was a bold track that day. It didn't look that bad on the tally, but uh, certainly when you walked it, it was um, almost like quick sand out there. So it was a pretty tough effort from him first up. He'd been, you know, from Perth down to Melbourne to Sydney and then up to us in Brisbane, and he turned up. He was pretty long in the coat, so he probably wasn't giving much away on looks or anything like that. Um, you see, he was, his coat was gleaming, but he was uh, fairly long, and he's since been clipped. But... Um, He's just such a good, honest galloper. He's always, um, you know, before he came to us when he was trained over in Ireland, he was had good form coming over. And, um, yeah, since coming here, he's just always rises to the occasion. Um, he'd love a stable for the galloper, gallopers like him. Yeah, Faulkner Park, he's probably a horse, I suppose, that comes with a bit of X factor. Like, we saw that in his last start in the Wagga Cup where he's last and he just, you know, rounded them up, went straight past them like they were standing still. So. Excited to see him into Group One company. They've always had big reps on him. Um, you know, he really he's gone through the grades nicely since coming to Australia. Um, arrived here with a low handicap rate, and he's sort of gone up. And um, I guess he's um, he's going to be a you know very handy horse, and he's, he is deserving his chance on Saturday off the back of his last um, couple of wins as well. They are only country cups, but it's just the manner that he's been doing it in. Yeah, he's he's probably an interesting runner by Adajon. Um, Look, he's not a real 2,400 metre horse, um, but he just tries so hard. He just, you know, he seems to thrive on the race and he always pops in. Um, he looks great. His run here the other day at the Sunshine Coast, it was, like I say, it was a heavy 10 that day. Um, and he had to carry um, over 60 kilos in the run. So, you know, he was giving weight to everything. He sort of got everything out of the um, handicap there, but um, you'll find most of the field that he was up against were all carrying six, seven kilos less than him, and he led them up, but he just sort of races a bit too keen to see out the 2,400 metres. Um, 2,000 metres is perfect. His um, work is very sharp as well. I was quite surprised as um, Gallup at Doom in there on Tuesday in company. I rang Annabelle afterwards, and I sort of said to her, geez, he's worked you know, extremely well. And she said, oh, don't be surprised. He sort of, he'd match it with any sprinter in the stable. He just loves it. He just gets out there and he just wants to run. So, um, yeah, like he's a class horse as well and certainly no reason he can't run a um, big race on Saturday. Yeah, I think it's, sort of, I guess, his first um, real test against uh, the big boys on Saturday. But his run in the Hollandale was a lot better than what it probably looks on paper. He drew the ace that day and it's certainly not where you wanted to be. The Sunshine Coast, you wanted to be four or five off the fence and unfortunately he was just locked away on the rail the whole time and uh, in the worst part of the track um you know he didn't get to the crown at all that day which is where you need to be on the best part of the track and he waked away like he you know he, he runs ninth but it was good ninth as well he's going to appreciate getting uh, back on top of the ground and um thankfully you know blue skies out there for the Hopefully it continues leading into the run and it's going to be a, uh, you know, a nice, um, genuine surface, kind surface for all our runners. Oh, yeah, New Merion's probably um, a deserved favourite out of the four runners that we have in the market. But um, you wouldn't be surprised to see Faulkner Park. He's the horse coming through the grades. Um, you can make a case for all four runners, but um, yeah, just excited to see how the race does unfold. and. All four have got slightly sticky gates, um, so they're going to need a bit of luck and running. Uh, who gets in the good spot, and as long as one of them's winning, then the team will be happy. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.